Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. We are waiting on Daddy to get home because we are heading to Sam's Club this evening when he gets off work. And so I thought it'd be fun to bring y'all along for our Sam's Club trip. I know we need to get some of our essentials, but I wanna go look around and see what else I can find. We need diapers and things like that. We are, uh, we've actually just had to really start buying diapers. Um, because we've gotten so many from like a shower and things that people have sent us and so we need some more diapers and just different things at Sam's Club. I just love going to Sam's Club to shop around and look so I thought I'd bring you along for that and maybe kind of bring you along today or over the next couple days or something but I've got to get everybody ready. It's been a lazy pajama day today and so I actually just got myself ready so now I've got to get all the kids ready. Millie is still napping. Um, but I did want to thank every plate for sponsoring today's video. Y'all hear me talk about them all the time because we love every plate. And so now I'm going to insert our footage from last night from our dinner and tell y'all a little bit more about every plate. These are the meals that we chose this week. The stuffed meatloaves with potatoes, the Tuscan herb chicken and broccoli cheddar bisque. We typically get the four person plan just because that's usually plenty for our family. Well, family of six, but five people that eat. Today, I'm actually making just two servings. We're gonna do the meatloaves. If you guys are new to Every Plate and never heard about them, which if you've been around my channel for long, I'm sure you have. They are known as America's Best Value Meal Kit because most meal kit deliveries are around $10 per serving, but Every Plate is around $4.99 per serving. I actually have a good discount code that makes your first week $1.99 per serving, which is really awesome. So it gives you a really good chance to try it out. And then the next two weeks after that, you'll get 20% off using my code that I'll leave right here on the screen. Each week they have a variety of things to choose from and we really enjoy going and picking our every plate boxes for the weeks that we get our box. But I love it because all everything comes in your box. Everything's measured out for you. Everything's super fresh. Your box is delivered right to your door and it's kept cold in a box that has really good insulation. All the meat is kept on the very bottom to make sure that stays super fresh with ice packs. So we've never had our box come and it not be fresh. So everything's always been really great for us. But this meatloaf, meatloaf turned out really good and I hope you guys will try out every plate. Definitely check the links below so you guys can get a discount. Another thing to add is most of the meals are just 30 minutes, which is perfect for me because I don't want anything that's gonna take up an hour, an hour and a half of my time each night cooking dinner. If y'all see my meal plans, y'all know I keep it very simple these days, and so this fits right into that. at Starbucks I'm grabbing a little coffee um because I'm kind of hungry and I didn't grab a snack um coming out because I just really wanted a little coffee at Starbucks so we're grabbing Starbucks and my hair needs washing so anytime my hair is oily I always do like a little side bun <laughs> that's just my like go-to when my hair needs washing um but I'm gonna grab my ice latte with sugar-free vanilla from Starbucks you can go babe my ice latte with sugar-free vanilla, so yummy, and then we're heading to shop at Sam's Club.
everything laid out on the table um that we got at sam's club we stopped at chick-fil-a on the way home for something super quick we were all so hungry it's already 7 30 but we've already ate we were starving the girls were starving ethan was starving he hadn't ate much today and so um anyways we're home and we've got i've got everything laid out to show y'all our uh sam's club haul also we were trying to semi hurry because i forgot the diaper bag at home and so if Callan were to have a blowout or something, I mean, Sam's Club probably, I'm sure would have had everything we needed. We just had to buy everything, but we didn't have the diaper back. And Sam's Club from us about 30 minutes. And so we were trying to see my hurry through there. Um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna pick up my Walmart, just my weekly grocery haul that I wouldn't get at Sam's Club. When I go to Sam's Club, I pick things that we go through really quickly. Um, I don't like just things that, we buy so much that I'd rather buy in bulk. There's some things I'm thinking of that I meant to get while we were there, but I forgot. But anyways, let me show you what I got. All right, so starting over here, Ethan picked his soft drinks up. I buy these all the time. And so this is a huge pack of them. I hope I go through them before they go like stale or anything. Hopefully they won't as long as I keep the bag closed. But I love these so much as a snack with some Laugh and Cow cheese. So I grabbed those. These were on sale for like $4 and some change, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, the girls really like this cereal. And then I, this is my favorite hand soap. I have these everywhere in my house, our bathrooms, kitchen, everywhere. And I think it was seven something maybe. Um, so I went ahead and got it. I, Walmart doesn't, our Walmart doesn't have these kinds. Pearl Essence and Manuka Honey. So I went ahead and got some of those because I noticed today I used the last two I put in the bathroom and in the kitchen. So I want to go ahead and stock up on some more. And then I got some Rice Krispie treats. One of the girls' favorite snacks. The M&M's, Cocoa Rice Krispies, and Chocolatey Drizzle. They've never tried the Cocoa ones, but I'm sure they'll like them. Of course, our paper. No, I didn't get paper towels because we really mainly needed toilet paper and not necessarily paper towels. I went ahead and got this because this is my favorite meal prep. And so I'm going to meal prep again this week with... A rotisserie chicken and then this is something that I just ran out of or I'm almost about out of so I got some more ranch seasoning and then I've been wanting to pick this up the buttery steakhouse kinders that I've heard really good things about I think tomorrow when I'm meal prep I'm going going to put these on potatoes and see how I like it I've heard really good things about it and if y'all are interested that is the ingredients but thought we'd try that all right then we got some peaches i thought these were kind of pricey they were like ten dollars for nine of them so i don't know maybe they're not like super pricey but i'm hoping they're really good um peaches i really like a good peach and so i thought we'd probably go through these pretty quickly because delaney really likes peaches as well ethan picked up some deodorant he should be good on deodorant for quite some time a watermelon which i've been looking for a really good watermelon i came across something on instagram facebook or something the other day it kind of told how to get pick a good watermelon which i've seen so many things about that and i've tried to try to take tips and tricks and i just I can hardly ever find a really really good watermelon but one of the tips that it said was the uh the, it needs to be like two finger widths apart. So this was, and it looks really good, or I feel like it does, the spot on it. I don't know, we're gonna see, cause I couldn't remember all the other tips that that post said, but I do remember the two finger widths apart. Uh, we got some juices for the girls and gain flings. I thought I'd switch back to these. I use regular gain um, liquid, but I really like the flings as well. So we switched to those and they were on sale. So, um, I buy these every single week on my Walmart grocery order. So I thought instead of doing that, I would get them at Sam's club and then diapers. I needed some diapers. So that is my Sam's club haul. All right. Coming back on here because I forgot we put a few things in the refrigerator when we got home so we could eat. We got some French toast sticks, which is also something we go through very quickly. Ethan wanted to grab some orange juice. They have really good orange juice. And these were on sale, Lunchables. Um, they were like $5 and something per pack, which makes it less than a dollar per Lunchable. And at Walmart, they're like $1.50. So I thought that was a really good deal. So I got two of those. And um, I think that was it that we put in the fridge. Good morning, friends. Next day over here. We're gonna make us some coffee. This is better than the skinny syrups. This is sugar-free as well. This is 
a, actually a lot better than the skinny syrups so I'm gonna see if I can find a big one with the pump like on Amazon oat milk and ice lagar I need to empty that out Good morning. We are heading out to Walmart this morning. Finish up my coffee from earlier. I'm not gonna get myself ready as of right now. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. I've got a hair appointment later today. So um, I don't think I'm really gonna do anything to my hair. So I'll just do my makeup a little bit later. So anyways, we're gonna grab our groceries, head back home. It is another rainy day here today. So we are home. I don't think I'm gonna do a full grocery haul, but um, this is kind of the stuff we got. Stuff for breakfast, for dinner, stuff for tacos, for dinner, back there. I got Millie some new panties, and I'm just wondering, like, when you're grocery shopping, how do you not notice, like, there's a hole, a big hole, and one's missing? So, I'm not sure if I need to take them back to the store. I might try to do it on the app and see what they do, but, I mean, I, I guess, obviously, I need to take them back to the store. Anyways, I got these to try. Um, I got some Dunkin' iced coffee. I did not like my cold brew that I bought bought last week. I didn't like the taste of it. I want some cheeses. We've got some in the pantry already. Chick-fil-A sauce, milk, chicken nuggets, some fruit, <laughs> and a little girl who wants some snacks. So this, I actually had, there were some out of stock items this time and some substitutions. I actually did not get these, but I told her I'd keep them, but I didn't realize like what they were. I actually got the regular I think it was like a circle sponge looking, but I think we'll probably eventually use these, so it's okay. I'm gonna meal prep with some baby potatoes in my new season that I got at um, Sam's Club. That's really about it. Um, it's our little grocery haul. I'm gonna show you my breakfast this morning. <laughs> Super quick, Eggo waffles. They were out of my bagel thins, which I was gonna do that for breakfast again this week. And then I'm trying one of these peaches, which are pretty good, the ones from Sam's Club. I have had the busiest morning. I've got some uh, chicken heating up in my air fryer, my rotisserie chicken. But I did go ahead and meal prep my potatoes, my chicken, my green beans. I haven't tried the potatoes yet, but they look really good. The chicken, I'm definitely going to have to start getting my chickens at Sam's Club when I'm there because it was like almost double the meat. And so that was really cool for about, I think the same price as Walmart. So I was pretty excited about that. But this is my meals for the week which I feel like I do this all the time, but it is seriously my favorite. I just dip my chicken in something and my potatoes, and it's just such a good meal prep. Um, three point meal prep, because I've got a good bit of potatoes in each one, and that's really the only thing I'm counting. So on my grocery order, I ended up getting some new iced coffee. For my afternoon cup of coffee, I'm out of my single shot of espressos, and so I don't want to have too much caffeine, like another double shot each day. And so, I've never tried the Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee in the bottle. I know it's, I think, fairly new. Um, and so, I'm going to try it today. I did not like the cold brew that I picked up on my last grocery order. I think I picked it up at my grocery store. I did not like it, but y'all know I love some Dunkin' iced coffee. So, I'm going to make just a small cup of coffee before I head out to my hair appointment. I'm going to do a little bit of that, a little bit of half and half. And then my favorite, Torani sugar-free uh, classic caramel syrup. If y'all know where I can get the bigger things of this, I looked on Amazon and I saw a four-pack, and I don't want a four-pack. And I'm going to try that and hope it's better than the cold brew. It's something about the coffee that I didn't like, that other cold brew. Like, it was just too much coffee. I don't know, too strong or something. So, let's give this a good stir. I think tonight for dinner, we're going to do breakfast on the Blackstone. Ethan called me at work today. He was on his break. He's like, so we're going to do breakfast, breakfast on the Blackstone tonight? And I was like, yes, I got everything for it. That's okay. Still prefer my oat milk coffee, but this is a good afternoon treat. Also, Callan's been living his best life in his little footy pajamas all day, hatting ya. In your comfy clothes. Playing with his play mat. Are you looking at your toy? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? <laughs> you wanna do some tummy time? Wanna do some more tummy time today? I'm trying to get better about doing more tummy time. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> 
good job. Here's your favorite toy, squeaky toys. Good job, buddy. Something's on here. Somebody was eating something. Is that a cereal bar? Good job, buddy. Jumping right on into our dinner tonight. If y'all saw, we got a new Blackstone. I got Ethan a new Blackstone for his uh, Father's Day slash birthday present. We have been wanting one for a while. And our most exciting thing we've been looking forward to cooking is breakfast on the Blackstone. We can't wait to wake up on a Saturday morning and Ethan can go out there one day when he's not working and cook breakfast on the Blackstone. So tonight we did breakfast for dinner. And let me just tell y'all, uh, homemade hash browns are a game changer. They were so, so good. We just shredded them, like grated them up and then let them kind of dry on a paper towel and season them a little bit. And they turned out so good. So um, we're cooking some bacon. I always get the center cut bacon, which we always enjoy that. So we started that first. We love the Blackstone because it's super quick to cook with. Um, and so we love it. The bacon literally cook, took like no time to cook. And then we're doing the hash browns. And then we also did some pancakes and some eggs and they turned out, seriously, this was such a good breakfast. breakfast for dinner which we have this weekly um, everybody always has pancakes regular pancakes but I always make myself the Kodiak cakes and I do chocolate chip pancakes for myself I don't love the Kodiak cake Kodiak pancakes excuse me by themselves but with chocolate chips I put like a couple teaspoons of chocolate chips in there and it makes them turn out so much better and I love them and I don't really miss out on the regular pancakes everybody else has but this is the girls plate and that is all we had for our breakfast and everything was cooked on the Blackstone and was so good but I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check the links below to check out every plate and I'll see you guys very soon for another video bye